Untold Stories. Hey guys, I'm Allison Alana. Make sure you hit the like button as you come on in. And if you are a newbie over here, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you as one of the alligators. Now let's get into the story. Taquin always had an issue with being habitually late. She was late for school pretty much every morning as a child. And her parents would get her up for school and any morning that she happened to be on time for school, her parents would hold her back saying, hey, I made breakfast for you, you better stay here and eat. And she'd be like, no, I have to get to school. I, I need to get to school. They complain about me being late almost every day. And I need to get to school on time. And her parents would force her and yell at her and make her stay behind and be late for school to eat the breakfast that they had cooked. So, Taquin's friend, Brenda, decided that she was going to begin like this morning routine thing for her and Taquin. Taquin's friend, Brenda, was always on time. She was up early every morning. Her hair was always done. She was always put together. She would always be up and on time for pretty much every event that they had to go to. So Brenda decides she's going to come and she is going to start coming to Taquin's house every single morning to get Taquin out the house on time. And Taquin, she would show up at Taquin's house and Taquin would still be getting ready. She had to sit on the couch. Taquin would be in the bathroom brushing her teeth. Sometimes Taquin may still be in the shower. Sometimes Taquin may still be lotioning down, putting on her toiletries and stuff. Like Taquin was always just still doing something. Very, very rare was there ever a time that she would come to the door and Taquin was actually ready. So this continued for a while. And I guess poor Brenda got fed up with Taquin and her lateness. So Brenda stopped coming to the house. And instead of Brenda just stopped coming to the house for Talkwin and just going onto the bus stop by herself and leaving it at that, Brenda took it upon herself to take that time to go to the bus stop and talk negatively about Talkwin every single day. Talkwin was always late, so she really ever caught the bus. A lot of times she'd either have to walk to school or her parents would have to take her to school. So, um, it took a while for Taquin to get this information because she was never really seeing her parents in the morning. But one morning, she comes down to the bus stop on time. Miraculous, right? And Taquin is being told, hey, you know, Brenda has been talking about you. Brenda says you're late all the time. Brenda was talking about um, your hair and just talking about you negatively. Like they started to list off so many different things. It became way more than just Talkwin's habitually late habit. It, it became personal things about Talkwin's clothes, her hair, the way she looked, um, the people she spoke with. Like she talked about every single thing. And a couple of the things happened to be lies. She lied on Talkwin with a couple of things. So Talkwin got really, really upset. And talk with her plan to beat Brenda up. But Brenda um, had received word that Talkwin had said, you know what, when I catch her, I'm going to tear her behind up. We're going to fight because she playing. She playing with the wrong one. Right? So word had spread to her and she started to stop coming to the bus stop in the mornings. And um, Talkwin thought it had to be true because if you hadn't done anything wrong, you would have just came to the bus stop and just say, hey, I, I didn't do anything, but they're claiming that I did. This is all inaccurate, but she stopped coming. So that was even more proof. Plus one of the things that I talked with other friends began to tell her would have only been known by Brenda. So Brenda is now ducking and dodging and hiding from Talkwin because she knows Talkwin doesn't want to fight her in school. Talkwin doesn't want to get suspended. Talkwin doesn't want to have all of these issues to deal with. So she's feeling safe at school, but she knows that she cannot ride the school bus with Talkwin in the morning or the school bus with Talkwin in the in the afternoon. So Talkwin, so Brenda begins to take another bus to a whole nother community. And Brenda is taking this bus day in and day out. Mind you, Brenda's always on time. So she, it was nothing for her to leave out a little bit earlier and get to the bus stop all the way on the other side of town early and still make it to school on time. 
So Talkman receives word that Brenda is taking the bus over to this other neighborhood. So what does Talkman do? Finds another bus, finds another bus that also goes into that area so that sweet Brenda would think that there was no um, repercussions coming. She would never even expect that Talkman was on her tail the way that she was. So Talkman takes this bus after days and days and days of trying to catch up with Brenda and not being able to catch her while they're walking home or anything. She finally takes this bus over to the neighborhood that goes over into the same neighborhood as the one that Brenda is taking. And she gets off the bus and she's walking around and she does not see Brenda. She goes and she's looking around and just when she's not even thinking about Brenda anymore, she's now heading home. She's not even thinking about Brenda anymore. Here comes Brenda skipping, literally skipping down the street having a song to herself, cheerful as ever. She sees Talkwin and she yells, ah, I don't even want to fight you, man. I don't even want to fight you. And Talkwin goes, well, today you're going to fight me. And Talkwin chases her down the street. <coughs> and poor Brenda, poor Brenda was getting the whops. Brenda was, Brenda was getting the fists pounded, 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 pounded. Brenda's yelling, she's screaming, she's hollering, ah, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Ah! She's yelling. She's carrying on. She's screaming like she's being murdered. And um, she's not even like really hitting back. She's just hollering and fl being flung all over the place. So this lady sees the fight. She pulls over to the, to the street and she didn't get out, but she just stopped there. And the lady proceeds to tell Brenda to get in the car. And Brenda's trying to get in the car. But Talkwin just has such a grip on her. Talkwin is just giving her the fist. And Talkwin is holding her like by her top or something and just pounding her, right? Brenda is now dangling like this in the sunroof, trying to maybe grip the sunroof and get some type of escape or something. But Talkwin just would not let up. Talkwin did not stop. Talkwin beat her head in the window. Talkwin punched her in her face. Talkman was just slamming this girl all through the daggone woman's car. When Talkman's done, they notice a drip of blood going down the car, down the window. Um, and now the fight's over and Brenda gets in the car with the lady and they pull off. But Talkman didn't even think or expect what would happen next. You see, this good Samaritan that came to save Brenda's life on this good day came and not only did she put Brenda in her vehicle, she took Brenda to the police station. That's right, the police station. She takes Brenda to the police station. Brenda tells the police what happens and the police go on the hunt for Talkwin. Talkwin has no idea. Her and her friends are all walking down back home. Next thing they know, a police car comes down the street to pick them up. They get out the car and they're like, Get over here now. Y'all get over here now. Everybody turns around and walks to the police except Talkwin because Talkwin did her own thing. Talkwin just kept on walking. The officer had to repeat himself like two or three times before Talkwin finally turned around and came back. And he's like, didn't you hear me calling you? And she was like, yeah, but I ain't want to come. <laughs> and Talkwin is just like with all this attitude and everything and he was like, which one of y'all was fighting this girl? Which one of y'all was fighting her? Which one of y'all was fighting Brenda? And Talkman goes, it was me. And I'll do it again. <laughs> and he was like, what you was fighting her for? So Talkman tells him what the fight was for. That she was talking about her and being fake and two-faced to her and all that stuff. And he said, you did. He said, where is the weapon? Where is the weapon? And Talkman goes, I don't have no weapon. So he's like, you did all this with your hand? You did this with your hand? And Tuckman was like, yep, sure did. Now <laughs> I'll do it again. Next thing Tuckman knew, she was right in them handcuffs. <laughs> so Tuckman gets in the police car and Tuckman's thinking to herself like, dang, now I'm gonna go to jail. I'm 13, I'm gonna go to jail. But Tuckman didn't cry. She wasn't like, whimpering she wasn't begging for her mommy she was like a straight soldier she just was going with the flow so she gets to the police station and they take her in and um 
they it's all men and they looking like this little 13 year old girl you know they they nobody's like being overly mean or like she's not being slammed around or the cuffs too tight or you know she's still being treated very nicely like a kid and Tarquin goes in and she gets her fingerprints done and everything and then she's holding her little her little number up like this doing her mug shots <laughs> and they call Tarquin's mom Tarquin's parents have to come pick her up from the police station Tarquin's parents go and pick her up and then they get home and they ask her you know what happened and everything and Tarquin explains everything and later on Brenda's parents come over and find out what happened and they were talking Brenda tells her parents what happened and Brenda's mom was like well yeah I know Brenda has a lot of mouth and Brenda does a lot of trash talking but I would have more so it would have made more sense if you would have heard her say this and then you did it but don't go off hearsay people could be lying and making stuff up to you and Brenda's mom literally was like if you hear her say something like that you punch her in her mouth yourself but if you didn't hear her then you don't you don't touch her you leave it alone because it could definitely be hearsay and talk was like okay ma'am okay and um they the, the families talk the parents talk and they agree that they don't want to press charges because Tucker was getting ready to go to jail. <laughs> Being pressed, you know, had they go, went through the full procedures and court cases and stuff like that, the parents let it go. And years go by and um, Tuckwin runs into Brenda again at a train station. And by now, Brenda's a mom. Brenda has a little baby in a baby carrier. And they just kind of talked. And, um, say hello and talk and say hi to the baby and they kind of just went on so this was a situation where Taquin got saved because the other family was reasonable and understanding that they were both just kids and eventually Taquin grew up and Brenda became like neutral so that is a story about how Taquin beat up Brenda and knocked her head in a glass window and caused her face to bleed hope you guys enjoyed this story and I will catch y'all in the next one bye